اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the previous session, we introduced the concept of research. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is basic research and a bit more in detail, where do we start? Now that I know, I'm going to conduct basic research because I want to extend the literature because that's the objective of my research because I'm a scholar. And this is academic research, fundamental research. These are the other names that are given to basic research. So if I'm going to extend the literature, so whatever you are extending, you should know what is available. Only then you are able to extend the literature. Now if I'm not sure what is available, I can't extend it. But before that, we will have to identify what is it that I'm going to research on. So the first thing that one need to understand is the area for research. Let's say I am doing my master's in social sciences or business research. And within business, there could be multiple fields. But primarily, we divide it, in, in, we divide it into, let's say, HRM marketing and finance. My area is HRM. So I'm going to conduct my basic research in this particular area. So now that I know that HRM is my area of interest, what about HRM? There could be multiple sub areas that obviously form HRM. It could be TND, it could be LND, it could be leadership, it could be knowledge management, it could be internal marketing, it could be employee development, it could be organizational learning, it could be any one of these. What is it that I want to research on? Let's say my interest is on leadership. What about leadership? Now there are different types of leaderships, different styles that are followed. It could be servant leadership, charismatic leadership, transactional leadership, transformational leadership, smart leadership, knowledge oriented leadership, so on and so forth. There could be many. Now you have to narrow it down here. If you fail to narrow it down, then you are not able to identify what is it that you want to do. Now, there are multiple ways to narrow it down. Now, since I've been doing research for quite some time now, I know how to narrow it down. But how would a new scholar narrow it down? What are the steps that a new scholar should take to narrow his or her research area down? Now, this is the starting point. I know I'm, I'm doing my master's or PhD in HRM. I know the areas in HRM. Now within the areas, I know that, okay, this is my area, leadership. Now what about this? How do I come to know about the prevalent leadership styles? Or let's say organizational learning. I want to conduct a research on organizational learning. What about organizational learning? What's happening with organizational learning? How would I know? Do I read books? Well, if not books, do I need articles? Or research papers, you might have heard about it, but you do not know what it is. So research is a systematic process, isn't it? Now, at the end of research, it culminates in into a dissertation, thesis, or a research paper that we want to get published. Now, that article, this thesis, or this dissertation is the outcome of this particular systematic process that we call research. So if I want to know about what's happening in this area, do I go for books, articles, papers, existing research 
like done by someone else in my university dissertation or thesis? Where do I look for? We look for articles and research papers. To find out okay, what's happening in this area, if you are interested in working on organizational learning, you have to find out latest research. Where is this latest research? This latest research is available on or rather in articles or research papers. And those articles and research papers that are published in journals. So now what is a journal? Articles that are published in a journal. So is it one article published in one journal or there could be many articles published in a journal? Well, yes, there could be many articles that are published in a journal. So the articles are published in journals and each journal is published maybe let's say annually, bi-annually, two times a year, monthly or quarterly after three months. And each journal when published is given a volume number and issue number for identification. Now the article published in that particular journal is given a page number so that one can access the particular article. Now where are these articles? Where are these journals? How do I find about these particular things? How do I find about the articles and then how do I refer those articles? So now that you know that you are doing basic research and for basic research you know your area and in that area you have got sub areas and once you know the sub areas you will need what do I do next. Now in order to find what do you know, what do you do next you need articles or papers. Where are these articles? In the journals. Where are these journals? These journals are in databases. Databases. Where are these databases? We are going to talk about this in the next session. Thank you very much.